Tube and welcome to my channel Home Sweet Home Handmade. I'm Natalie and this is my channel where I talk about my love of cross stitch and all the projects I've been working on. So this is episode 60 and it's Sunday the 28th of April um, about one o'clock. Uh, we have got uh, Percy and Simon uh, wandering around so you probably hear them in the background. So it's been a few weeks since I last saw you and since then um, me and my hubby have been to York uh, to celebrate his birthday and while I'm talking about it I'll put some photos I took in here as well. So we went for three nights and we stayed in the Dean Court Hotel, which is opposite the Minster. And I did my nurse training in York many moons ago, so I know it really well. And we had a lovely time. So we also um, went to the Viking Loom, which is a craft shop. It used to be near the Minster, but it's now out of town. So, um, so we went there on the way home. I am just going to wet my whistle, as my nan used to say. Um, of course, I had to do it. In my I had to make a coffee in my floss tube mug. So today I'm going to um, I've drawn randomly drawn the name for the April chart. I finished floor etchings which I will show you and um, so I'll draw for that and I've got um, quite a lot to show you today and some haul and a teeny tiny bit of knitting at the end um, so yeah so settle in um, so I'm hoping to have this uploaded today Sunday so um, so you can watch it sort of Sunday afternoon they're talking to each other <laughs> Right, so I showed you my finish, it's up there, I've got to get it, of the little April Glooms Bent Creek Snappers. And this is very appropriate for today because it's pouring down with rain. I think this must be one of the wettest springs I've ever known. Because I use the um, press studs, as we call them here in the UK, on mine, I picked up some more. So I'll send them along. So I did the random um, word picker, whatever you call it, comment picker, and I was looking for the word April. So the winner of this is Rebecca Journey 3183 and she put the most loveliest and comment and I'll read it to you. Hi Natalie, I've just received my typewriter chart but will change the flowers to purples. That was the tiny modernist chart that I showed you last time. Your kittens are so fun to watch and so playful. They're talking to each other at the moment. I love rain and today would have been my 36th wedding anniversary. My wonderful hubby passed away 14 years ago. Sorry to hear that. But I found this beautiful photo of him grinning ear to ear. Sweet memories. So April the 2nd is the day we were very happily married. I love the dollhouse. So Rebecca, if you're watching, um, my email address is in the description box below. So just drop me an email with your address and I'll pop that in the post to you. So, I managed to finish Heart in Hand Floral Etchings, um, which was a gift for my lovely friend Angie. And she was having a significant birthday, so I stitched this up for her. And I'll pop a photo of my finish in here. And I did get it finished by, I tried a local framer. Um, and although he was a lovely guy, I don't think he was experienced with um, framing needlework. Um, 
it was okay i'll put a picture in of the finished frame i love the frame but i guess you're always super critical of your own work and it was just slightly wonky so i will go back to my normal um framer that i've always used in chroma in norfolk um so it was a little bit disappointed but she was absolutely thrilled with it so as you would have seen on the picture i changed the last flower to match these other two so so i'm going to give this one away today and it's open to anyone internationally as well i may if you don't mind if it does go international i may just fold it simon's here <laughs> let me see if i can grab him come here and say hello no <laughs> oops <laughs> just one second i'm back <laughs> apologies if this is a bit choppy today um yeah that's um living with very playful kittens well they're eight months now so i was saying i was giving this away today so if it is an international i hope you don't mind but i may just fold it and it'll cost me less in postage which appears to be going through the roof just now <laughs> Um, so the word I'll be looking for is floral in your comment and the usual giveaway um, rules apply you have to be over 18 don't say win giveaway and if you can be a subscriber of the channel that'd be wonderful so I'll draw that next time so my um, focus piece I'll just start <laughs> Um, we are doing, that's me and my sister, Emily, who is stitching from Known Cottage and my lovely friend Donna Ray, Flannel Jammies Farm on YouTube, um, are doing a, a variation of Jessie Marie does stuff, Whip Be Go Board. We're doing Whip Be Gone Board. And my um, focus piece for April was my Hawk Run Hollow, which is living in this beautiful bag that my sister bought for me and I have to say that I've done a massive fail on my focus piece on my new start but I have got done lots of other stitching so I am doing the village of Hawkrun Hollow and I am still on that first block So I'm stitching this on a piece of Zweigar 18 count platinum Ada because I'm an Ada stitcher. Um, I have got a before photo so I'll pop it in. So I've hardly done anything but I have stitched on it so it does count. So um, I've put hill and there and I'm going to keep it out and try and do some this afternoon just to inspire me because I do really like it but it never calls to me so this afternoon I might work on that bit there get those filled in because if I don't start <laughs> working on these big pieces they'll never get finished so that was my focus piece for April I mean it's not May yet, I've still got a few days of April left, even though it's 28, so I could get some more stitches. So, um, have I got it underneath here? No. So, my new start was between the dollhouse, I'll put a photo in here, and Lucy and the goose. And I asked you which one, and Lucy and the goose, I think, won. So I have started this, well if you can call it a start, <laughs> there we go, there's the goose's face and that's all I've done, that's terrible isn't it, I've, I've had one of those months of just flitting around projects again, um, but I do really like this, it's very cute. So let's see if I can get some more in that. I see you next and this is living in my amazing bag 
that Pauline from So Be Bags, who I will link her Instagram account below, she sent this to me as a stitchy kindness and I was blown away. It's lovely. All that work. So thank you, Pauline. I have thanked her already, but yeah, it's gorgeous. I like the fabric as well on the back. I have to tuck those inside because of course the kitty's chewing everything to death. So those are my two pitiful um, start and focus piece. So I thought I would start off with the naughtiness first. But anyway, it's my stitching. Why should I be bad on myself? But I do need to pull the hawk run out more often. Right. Let me grab something else. Grab some things off the pile. So the next one, I'm not going in any kind of order. So the next one is living in my Made by Rachel bag. And you know she's my favourite bag maker. Who I always link below. And in here, I did show you this last time as it was in my haul section. And it is from River Drift House Needlework and it's Granny Squirts. So I took this with me to York and I had a start and I managed to square. And I really like the colours on this. There we go. lovely so it's not going to be quite as big as I thought so yeah it's really nice I like that one and I'll put away as I go because it's always an almighty mess anyway when I've finished hubby has gone out bless him he's got a bit of a cold it's pouring with rain and I said, oh, you can just go upstairs. And he said, no, no, I'll go out. He likes to go to a local coffee shop. So I showed you this one last time. This is my Little Dove Designs, uh, a garden full of flowers cell. And we have had um, part one and part two. And I'll put a picture in of where I was before. So I've done a little bit more. I need to uh, crack on with this so I don't get too far behind. <laughs> because I will. So this is um, the call Suffolk Pink House with a thatched roof. So um, if you're not in the UK, Suffolk is um, a county in England so I'm currently in Lincolnshire I live in Lincolnshire and then next to us is Norfolk and then below Norfolk is Suffolk so yeah I'm really enjoying that so far and then what's in this one? Oh yes lots of you commented about this last time it's Joan Elliott design the blue geisha and I'd just done a little bit of her hair and I wanted to pull it out and get her face in, which I managed to do. And I absolutely love stitching on her. I want to give her a name. Have you got any suggestions? Can't really think of any Japanese names. So if you've got a suggestion to name the lady in the blue geisha, pop it in your comments below. So I am stitching this. It was a kit. I got this um, as a kit from uh, Pole Stitches website. And the fabric, which is absolutely amazing, is hand dyed from Pole Stitches. And it's a 14 count moonlight, it's called. And I used some of the 
devil thread as well, Krynik. That is devil. But I worked out that I needed to do a lot shorter lengths than with the DMC. And also I needed to use a needle threader. And so I got there. So this is where I am. So I managed to get her face in. So her head, I'll just fold it around and let you see it closer. So her head is fully done with the Krynik, apart from um, there's some here that are for beads. So I think I'm going to do a bit more of her robe and then I'm going to go up and put the beads in. And I did a bit more of the blossom. But this fabric is just amazing. I love it. I didn't think I would when it first came. I thought, oh, I'm not sure if I like that. But um, I do. So I really got into sort of um, a zone when I was stitching her. Um, and I really, I've really enjoyed it. So I'm gonna, this was my leap day start for this year. And I'm aiming on a finish by the next leap day. So that's where I am. So I'm working on the green of her kimono, not robe. But I think it's going to be stunning on this fabric. So and there is a lot of colour changes. <laughs> but look at the effect of like the flowers in her hair and this is all um, sparkly chronic so yeah I didn't think I think sometimes you pick up projects and you think yeah I'm definitely going to enjoy that or um, or I'm not so much and I didn't think I was I would enjoy it as much as I did but I am so that's my blue geisha or a name if we can come up with a name right excuse me one moment I told you there was a lot <laughs> just couldn't settle to anything this month so when we were in York going back to York um, we went in this um, amazing shop. Um, it's been there since 1956. And if you're local to Yorkshire, you will know it. It's called Duttons for Buttons. And they obviously sell buttons all down one wall. It's a very, very small shop. Um, it's all buttons. And then they sell um, a little bit of cross stitch, um, some tapestry. I think what else felting kits and I saw this kit and I loved it so it's their own design and I'll read you what it says at the bottom so Dutton's for Buttons at 32 Coppergate York is housed in a medieval building built in 1420 it was part of the home of William, a wealthy York merchant and one-time Lord Mayor of York. Visitors to the shop can still see many of the house's original features, including its jetted frontage outside and its timber-filled wattle and daub walls and magnificent exposed timber roof inside. So I just... Uh, it's very simple design but I just love that and whenever I go to York um, I have to go to Duttons for Buttons so and also I showed this on WhatsApp to my friend Wendy hello Wendy if you're watching um, we did our nurse training together in York and she loved it so much so I went back to Duttons the next day and arranged for 
them to send her one of these because I picked up the last one but they said they would make up another kit because it's their own design and post it out to her. So I made a very little spot. And that's where I am. So I started up here. I'm always a left, top left starter. So I might, where these buttons are, big buttons in the window, I might attach some real buttons as well. I can't remember if I got a photo of buttons for buttons. If I did, I'll pop it in. It's very famous. And it's just really lovely in there. Very, very small shop. And I was, um, there's been, last time we went to York was 2018. Since then there's been, obviously we've had the pandemic and everything, and there's been a lot of shop changes. And I was thinking, oh, I hope Duns for Buttons is still there. But it is, so that's good. So I'm glad that I picked that up and I'm glad I started it while we were in York. So the next one, I told you there was loads of new starts, is I'm keeping it in this bag, which is another made by Rachel. And this keychain is from Rosie on Etsy. It's Rosie Chen Art. I'll link her shop. And in here is, I'll show you what I'm stitching. This is a gift because I finished my floral etchings and my I got a copy of the uh, spring edition of Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher. I love this. I love that on the front by Jan Hicks Creates. And I saw this Barbara Anna cat and I knew that I had to stitch that straight away. There is a um, student veterinary nurse at our vets called Jess and she's got two white cats called Ronnie and Reggie and they have each got a blue and a sort of amber coloured eye and Reggie's got like amber and blue and then Ronnie's got blue and amber so it's like switched. Really unusual she showed us a uh, picture on her mobile. And she's just such a lovely person, Jess is, and she really looked after the boys when they had their neutering operation. And she was always really sweet um, to Miss Betsy. So if you're new to the channel, um, we had Betsy, um, who was quite a celebrity <laughs> on the channel. And sadly, she passed away last November, just after her 23rd birthday. And she is here with us, her little... Um, we had her cremated and her little box is up on the bookshelf. So she's looking down on us. So I knew I wanted to stitch this for Jess. As a sort of thank you. And she's coming to the end of her studies, so... But also to celebrate her achievements. So I am stitching this with all of the called for DMC. And... I'm stitching this on a piece of, I want to say that this is Picture This Plus, um, but I'm not sure of the colour. This, it's been washed out a bit, colour. It's more sort of aqua blue, but that's where I've got so far. So I managed to get the cat's eyes in that are very cute. I didn't have any of this corally colour. Um, but I just wanted to use things from Stash. And I've got quite a few hoops, so I'll mount it in a hoop for her. So, yeah, so I need to um, do some more of this so I can gift it to her. There's lots of patterns in here. I also like, really like that straw brace as a keep. Simon has come down again. <laughs> so, 
I picked this whip up, which I haven't um, haven't done many stitches for a while. It's living in this, is it? Yeah, it's a Bertie and Poppet bag. So I love love that fabric. And in here is Madame Chantilly summer deliveries so I'm a bit out of season so I put a picture in here of where I was before picked it up I think I've got I know I've got the autumn one of this so it's obviously summer I think I might have spring as well so I'm stitching this on another mystery Ada Sorry, so I'm just jumped on the back of the settee. So I just put some more into the flowers. So, yeah, it, as I said before, it's been a bit of a month of flitting around projects. I've done quite a bit of stitching. So, yeah, that's where I am. So I'd like to come down and get those red flowers in and um, they're a very cute bit of watermelon that obviously that sheep has been eating. Also in here is um, a kit that I got on eBay. It's called Cats 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 by Busitler and that was so cheap so at some point that might be a new start that one reminds me of betsy so yes that had some love this month right i think that's everything i stitched on. i'm going to be stitching on my float later because i'm going to stitch with on array on zoom so i'll be able to show you that later so i've got a little bit of haul to show you and then there'll be some knitting i placed an order with the lovely charlie feathers just going in my geisha bag because i realized that i didn't show you my cherry blossom ones so these are from charlie feathers oh that looks a right old mess um and charlie's lovely she does a floss tube and i'll link it below but she makes these incredible floss tubes not floss tube floss drops so i got these um cherry blossom ones to put all my threads on for my geisha so I must do that so she's got a Kofi shop that she sells these in oh no pause one moment apologies I'm back Percy just um was pulling some <laughs> threads out of project bags so I had to rescue them so these were my ch cherry blossom floss drops from Charlie and I also ordered these uh, really really cute Christmas ones she has drawn look at those <laughs> so these are going to go on a um, Christmas in July project but they are so sweet and they're such good quality um, that snowman so along with the Christmas ones I also ordered these no no <laughs> down by the river Percy get down that's a good boy and they're just beautiful um, I particularly love is it? There it is. 
particularly love the duck. And the little ducklings here. So thank you, Charlie. I'll say I'll put a link to her floss tube and to her Kofi shop. She sent me some other goodies with these. Um, I can't recommend them highly enough. They're so such good quality. While I was rescuing my sleds, I found another project that I've worked on, and this is in a new made by Rachel bag. So look at that. This is one of my favourite colours, this mustard. It's just such a cheerful bag. And in here is a new star on, I got this um, as a kit on eBay, very, very cheap. I didn't get the fabric. It's Bent Creek Good Morning. And I got the little charms and I got the threads. I'll show you. And I'm stitching this on a piece of, well, it's a scrap. And I think it's um, fabric flare nostalgia. And I did get the Weeks Dye Works whiskey, but I, I've ran out. So I've had to order another one, just to put another line in, which is a bit of a pain. So look at that caution. Cats at play. That's from Yana at Don't Step On Your Needle. So yeah. So I'm stitching this up. This is for me. Um, and I'm going to put this on. I've got a little easel. And I'm just going to put this on my kitchen windowsill. And I got the, um, if I can find them, where they are. Got the charms and they're really cute. Where are they? There they are. So there's a little coffee pot, there's a cockerel and there's a clock. So I think I'm going to do what, um... Helen D said to do and just put a very light layer of clear nail varnish so they don't tarnish so yeah I've enjoyed doing that so far so I'll carry on with that then not much stitching to it and then I'm going to back it on some board and put it on my, put it on the little easel I've got and put it in the kitchen. So I'll show you my progress next time. So I'm keeping all that in my lovely Made by Rachel bag. Um, oh, I've got another one as well. <laughs> this, well this is all over the place today. So um, this is an, another Made by Rachel bag and this is the stitch along that I'm doing with my lovely friend Sharon who is Magnolia Nana and we are stitching the needle worker sampler by Cottage Garden Samplings there we go so I pulled this out and I did a little bit of work on the balls of wool I just love this, I love the colours. So I'm using all the cord for DMC and I am stitching this on a piece of Fabric Flare 16 Count Cafe Ole. So, um, yes, that's where I worked on. I worked on the balls of wool. So I want to get this finished this year so I there's no point me saying oh well I'll do this and do that because this month has shown I can't keep to anything but I'd like to think that I'd finish those balls of wool 
when I see you next. So, that is the last whips, I promise. <laughs> it will be more organised next time. So, another bit of haul, going back to haul now, is I managed to snag this. Um, it's from Yasmin. Yasmin's Made With Love. And she made some bags out of some of her old stitch pieces and i just had to i just had to get this one it's beautiful it's lovely and what a great idea to make some of your finished cross stitch projects into project bags that's lovely so i don't know what I'm, i haven't got a project in here um, but I will be using this soon. Um, and I also picked up something that has been on my one, two, three wish list for ages. And I got an email notification that RTO kits were reduced on one, two, three stitch. And I went and picked it up. And I don't know when I'm starting this. It might be a birthday start in September. I'm not sure. But I just absolutely love that. So that's all the lovely colours. Um, and it's got that DMC. I don't know how you pronounce that. <laughs> so, yeah. I think it's beautiful. It's like a piece of art. So. And then the other thing that was from market that I picked up at the same time was, of course, I had to get this denied. It's Erin Elizabeth Designs Cat Tear. <laughs> it's just... Um... So it's stitched on a 28 count. So that would be like a 14 count. And it's DMC. I love that. It's so much fun. I like the baking tier as well. That's really nice. So, going back to York. And I said at the beginning that we went to the Viking Loom. So, in the Viking Loom, which is three floors. Oh, they have a lot of quilting fabric. Um... They mainly do like um, classes and workshops, but they do have a cross stitch section. And I picked up this kit from the Historical Sampler Company, and it's called Think Happy, Be Happy. Apologies for the glare. I'm not very good at making decisions or choosing so Greg, my hubby, came in and he, I did really like this one and he said, yeah, pick this. And he made the great suggestion where it says be happy of just moving that B over and putting another E, which I thought was brilliant. So I really like that. So it comes in this, I don't know, but I don't think they do these bags anymore, might be wrong. Um, so it comes all kitted up. So I'm looking forward to a start on that. Whilst I was there, I also got a piece of 14 count Ada in this beautiful, like, it's washing out. It's more of an aqua blue. So I got a piece of that. I also got this very cute uh, needle minder from Buffy Threads. So now I've shown you that I can use it. <laughs> what else did I get? Oh, I got some fabric and I got some threads. I'll show you those. So 
so in the fabric room I got this very cute bunny one for sort of spring or Easter finishes and then I got a couple of Christmas ones so I got this poinsettia one have you used this one before Emily I think you have haven't you And this nativity scene one, which I thought was lovely. There isn't, it doesn't say where this fabric is from on the salvage, so. So I've got those three bits of fabric we didn't stay too long because they had the heating on full and um it was so hot in there <laughs> and i when i was messaging with, with emily i said we literally could have walked around in our pants and <laughs> look so um and i also got some thread so i picked up these two DMC variegated ones. Which are lovely. And I picked up some, and I didn't know they did it, some Madeira silk. So I quite like Madeira threads. They're um, German. And they come in these packages and you snip, make a little V there and you can pull it. So it all stays in this little packet, which is handy. So I got that like teal colour. Um, I got pink. And I got this lovely red. So, so yeah, so that was great. Um, being in there it did make me laugh though as well when I was looking at these kits um, the lady who was working in there um, first tried to sell me this huge sorry I've got some in my eye cap for, um, tried to sell me this huge um, tapestry cushion kit when I said I was a cross stitcher and then there was loads of these and on the top shelf there was um, some wedding and birth ones and she mentioned them and I said oh but they're wedding and birth ones and she said oh well you could just do them and then just leave the words out. <laughs> so but I'd already seen this one and another one and um, I thought that would be a nice addition to my bee wall whenever that happens so and I also picked up some um, goodies for Emily as well which I've got uh, here and I'm going, planning to meet up with her soon so I can give her her goodies so I think that's all I've got to show you today I apologise for this being a bit choppy and a bit all over the place um, that just represents what my stitching has been this month I just haven't been able to stick to anything and I've just been going from project to project although I did really enjoy stitching on the geisha so don't forget if you've got a potential name for her pop it in the comments and also um, if you'd like to be in with a chance of winning floral etchings pop floral in your comment and if you haven't already done so and you're still with me uh, I would love it if you would subscribe as well um, and thank you to everyone that put such lovely comments I really really enjoy reading them and I've just realized there is another whip <laughs> shall I grab it quickly oh come on then <laughs> this I'll just show you this and then I'll go goodness me
you'd think this was like episode number one not episode 60 so this is my madame chantilly um halloween in a jar and i said that i wanted to stitch the flag and i did it so i'll pop a picture in here of where it was before and i'm stitching this on a piece of color and cotton 14 count river rock that my sister gave me and that's where i am so i have stitched there's the chart there we go so i've stitched all that side and I absolutely love this. So yeah, so I did achieve one goal this month. <laughs> Finish the flag. But that fabric, it's really showing true to colour. And when we go back to the States in October, I'm going to get some more of this fabric, colour and cotton because it is just beautiful to stitch on. It's not too stiff and it's not too soft. It's just right. So yeah. So let's see if I can get another rose in for when I see you next. So that is all my projects, <laughs> um, definitely. So, um, so yeah, so thank you. <laughs> For watching today um, it's been great to be back with you and hopefully I'll be back in a couple of weeks time to show you what I've been stitching on um, and until then stay happy healthy and happy stitching everyone bye oh my goodness <laughs> what a nightmare I am today I said there was a teeny tiny bit of knitting didn't I so I'm keeping this in my made by mrs d amazing elephant bag and i don't know i just i'm not a knitter um i just got the urge to knit something i can knit and purl and cast on and that sort of thing and i just was like um looking on the internet and i found this groovy gilet pattern by paint box yarns very simple garter stitch and that's just what I wanted, something really mindless. And I'm stitching it using a King Cole Big Value Poplar Chunky in the colourway Sweet Lavender. I love that. So um, this is where I am. I'm stitching it on straight needles. So this is where I am so far. And that is pretty true to colour actually so just sometimes um, if I have got a bit of a headache or um, I don't know sometimes I just pull this out and do a couple of rows so there's no time scale on this it's just whenever I feel like the urge of a bit of knitting and I will make this a bit longer than what it looks. So yeah, so just a teeny tiny bit of knitting. So yeah, in my amazing stitched by Mrs. D bag. So yes, so that is all from me now. <laughs> Apologies. And so I'll see you again next time. Take care. Bye.